Hi, I'm Susan Clements, one of the professors in the Gerontology Interprofessional Practice Program. We like to call it GIP for short. If you are watching this video, that means that you're one of our newly enrolled students to the program. And I've got to say, I am so pleased that out of all of the other schools or places where you could have gotten your education, you chose to be with us at Fanshawe College. And I'm super excited to be working with you this year. This website is and has been developed to try to prepare you for this exciting GIP journey. So let's take a look together, shall we? So what can you expect from this resource? Well, the website contains five different modules, all with a slightly different focus, of course each with the intent of helping you along and prepare for your GIP journey. Um, how do you use the resource? Well, it's pretty much self-directed, right? You can access the different modules at your own pace and when you can kind of find the time. But I am going to recommend that you dig into this resource and you know, go through it all within the first couple of weeks of starting the program. In addition to the modules, you're going to find that we have a discussion forum created, and we call that a little learning community, the GIP uh, community, where it gives you a chance to really connect with your peers, um, discuss some of the neat concepts that have maybe come up from the modules, and really just get to know one another who you're going to be working with throughout the year. There's also going to be lots of valuable resources that are found, not only what you would find within Fanshawe College, but other kinds of resources um, that complement the modules. So a little bit of a rundown in terms of the resource content, you'll see those five modules there. Um, all of them work together, but have, you know, a little different emphasis. Module one, that's what you're seeing right now is our welcome. Module two, towards a growth mindset. You'll learn all about what that is. Module three, bringing your best self. Module four, keeping your best self. And module five, the very fitting last module about reflection. So each module themselves is going to follow a very similar format. First, you'll find an introductory video, not unlike the one that you're watching right now. The second part is the take action section. And this follows a little bit of a format in and of itself, too. So within the take action section, you're going to see ask where I will pose a question for you to kind of think about. Next will be a do section. So I might have you complete a survey or you might watch a video or you might do a core values exercise, who knows what, but I have you doing something followed by reflect. Here we go asking questions again, but it's often reflecting on the do part that you just completed. Next is connect, and that is connecting with your peers on the GIP community little discussion forum. And the last thing is explore. And you can see that also on the slide here where there's a ton of good resources that you can dig into a little bit deeper, um, kind of reinforcing some of the concepts that we had talked about in and within the module. I'm going to welcome you to certainly revisit the resource section all throughout the year um, because you might find it handy uh, to revisit and explore again. So here we are on the website, the Gerontology Interprofessional Practice Program Preparation website, and you can see right across the top, here's our homepage, right, which gives you just a little bit of, um, there's my contact information, for example. But if we wanted to explore the different modules, you'd find them right across the top here, right? So there's one, two, and remember we had talked about how there was the five different modules, so you can find them here. And if we click on module one, for example, 
remember there's those three different components that you'll find within the given module. There's that introductory video, which you'll see right now, I'm in the process of creating it. So when it comes time for you to kind of go through this, you'll see that the video will be completed. So there's the introductory video. You scroll down a little bit more and we get to our take action section. So remember, I start by asking you a question and in this welcome uh, module, I'm really wondering about some of the concerns that you might have as coming, you know, as a new student enrolled in the GIP program. So just asking yourself that question and then in the do section, remember there's always something that I want you to do in each module. I'm asking you to review some of my GIP alumni testimonials. And I think that you'll really enjoy going through some of these. So there's Topeka, for example, she's got a little video. So make sure that you click on this and it'll take you to her uh, chatting with you and interacting with you. So Topeka and there's Tree and Clancy. Um, this is Apurvas, so make sure that you take a look at all of my GIP students. There's Janine and Kia. Um, make sure that you take a look and see whether or not these testimonials, did these students have some of the same concerns that you might be feeling right now? I'm going to encourage you to read through these and see how they met some of these challenges, you know, head on. Then in the take action section after do, remember we've got the reflect. So again, I pose a couple of questions for you to be reflecting on. What about these GIP testimonials? What resonated with you? Any surprises? And then there's the connect. So after the reflect, let's connect. And this is where um, it'll give you an opportunity to be able to connect with your GIP peers, right? You click on this button and it's going to take you to that discussion forum that I was talking about. So here you go. There's a separate discussion forum for each of the modules. And you're going to see, unfortunately, it kind of goes backwards here because of the way that I had to create it. But if it's module one about you know the welcome and introducing yourselves, just make sure that you're uh, finding the corresponding module that you would like to um, connect with the GIP community uh, regarding. So if it's module one, for example, I kind of started you out in terms of I put a little post. I've created, uh, you know, a question or two for you to think about and I've started kind of the thread off here um, and I can't wait to learn more about you. So, you know, introduce yourself, just a couple of little tidbits about you. What are you excited about being here at the GIP program? And what did you think about the alumni testimonials? So if you want to respond to all three of those prompts or one of them, whatever. Um, but there you go. I gave you a little bit about me right there. Once you've completed your comments, um, you can always then pop back to the module that you were at, or let's take a look at one of the other modules. So that was the welcome module here. You can go to module two, for example. There you'll see the introductory video that I give you. I'm gonna give you that question to ask. I'm gonna give you something different for you to do, more reflection questions, and then wanting you again to connect with your GIP community. Once you've done the connection, though, there's always this cool explore section. So it might be a TED talk, it might be a different video, it might be um, an article for you to take a look at. Either way, um, you can always come back and explore and look at these things at your leisure. Come back anytime during the year to, to come back to this. Oh, because one thing that I do want to show you while we're at it here, if we go to the keeping your best self. This is where we get into how to um, make sure that you're taking care of yourself. And some of that might be through mindful based strategies. So I just wanted to take you down to the explore section here for that, where you click on here and you will go right to the student wellness center, for example. But right within here, I wanted to show you that there were different meditation guides, mindful breathing, a body scan, right? You can click on it and you can start right away. It'll take you, ta-da, it'll take you right to it. And um, 
you can just explore some of these apps, really neat um, podcasts or YouTube videos, all kinds of neat things for you to take a look at. So that will start you off, that's for sure. So we certainly acknowledge and recognize that the transition to college can be a challenging one, right? So much change. There's new context with new friends, a whole new environment, some new teachers, whole new learning, a whole new way of learning potentially, right? And so just so many different change changes that's happening in your life. So I'm really hopeful that this um, website will offer you just a little bit of preparation for you, a little bit of, you know, a place to, to come where you can get some resources and some reassurances. And I do just want to impress upon you that you certainly aren't alone in terms of, you know, feeling um, that this transition to college can be a challenging one. Not alone. Many, many students have the same fears or anxieties or hopefully excitement um, that you're feeling as well. And I do just want to say that with some support and with some effort and some strategies, um, that things will really improve and uh, you're going to do just fine. So as always, after the introductory video is that great take action section, right? Where I'm going to ask you a few questions. And for, for now, the question for this module um, is what concerns do you have with coming to Fanshawe College? What I'm going to ask you to do in this module is make sure you review those GIP alumni testimonials. You're going to reflect, I'm hoping, on those testimonials and think about you know, was there any surprises? Was there something that hit home? What some of the same GIP students had similar concerns as you? Um, and then I'm going to encourage you to connect with your GIP community, right? Introduce yourselves, get to know one another because you're going to be working with each other throughout this whole year. This is a great place to start. And then explore some of those resources. So you might have already started getting to know some of the great resources that Fanshawe has here for you um, during orientation, but it can never hurt to kind of go over some of these. So um, on this website, you'll also have just quick and easy access to links to all of these great resources, whether it's the Learning Center, Accessibility and Student um, Accommodations or Counseling, the Institute for Indigenous Learning, our Learning Center, our International Center, right, the Student, um, the Fanshawe Student Union, a whole bunch of different resources for you to explore now and throughout the year. So that concludes our first module, the welcome module. And I'm going to say it again. I'm so, so glad that you are here. And I'm so looking forward to working with each of you over the next couple of semesters. Um, up next, our module two is striving towards a growth mindset. And I hope that you are curious about what that might mean. So until then, I'll see you in the next module, but I'll also get to see you in class. So see you then.